Season 6, Episode uh, 30. The Buddy. Hmm. You are very aggressive. No, she is incredibly aggressive. Say. I was just gonna let her say it because I noticed, but yeah, she is um very aggressive from what we've seen. So I don't blame Principal Brown for feeling that way about her. What? I think he means all the school's PCs have caught a virus because someone in the library used their browser to watch an illegal stream. I did not warn at all. Someone has to pay for this. Anais Brother. Jake, you know what to do. I bet you Anais could fix it if it's a software right, issue. Right. I guess you don't. I bet one of you needs to fess up to this before the end of today, or both of you get expelled. Oh, are we doing like the breakfast club here? I guess there's no way around it, Jamie. We're gonna have to partner up, go to the library, and find their kind of Honestly, it's more reminiscent of the Lunch Club episode from a regular show where Benson and Rigby were locked in the room and, you know, one of them had to resign or otherwise they both got fired at 5 o'clock. Great episode. I lo I'm so happy they're making a sequel series to a regular show. I'm, I love that show so much. And that they're making a season 7 to this show. I'm glad all these, like, really good shows are finally getting revivals. I think that's really cool. What? No, she's gonna check an actual mail. Like, see, this is why you don't. Are is everyone here stupid except Anais? Like, I. <laughs> Yep. Email, electronic mail. You know, it's okay. First of all, that phraseology she just used. I'm doing to make a noob mistake. How much you want to bet she actually did accidentally click on a virus link? I. This actually might be Anais's fault. Well, you want bad? I'll give you bad. Eh, show me what you got. I'm gonna kick your butt. Jeez. Yeah, talk about overheating. It's burning up. It's you don't say. Look at the desktop. Uh -huh. And then I'll <laughs> Yeah, I know. What do you take me for? Some kind of slack jaw yodel? I kind of. Yes. I would never say that. But she means it. <laughs> yeah, Jamie's gonna completely kill you. Clever. Why didn't Brown decide to check that first? Have been caught. The camera's got wiped. That's crazy. Someone knew. I'm gonna punch the keyboard. Dude, that worked. <laughs> I guess it would make sense. Bobbert would be capable of doing that. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Jamie is very threatening. It probably wasn't him. He is glitching out that now, though. But I have a feeling this is going to be a very misleading episode. It's going to be like someone we don't expect by the end of it. Maybe it was Principal Brown. Who, who knows? Really? Because you look pretty infected to me. I feel absolutely fine. 
Uh huh. <laughs> oh, it definitely can. Oh, that's kind of sad. Can't know. I feel like Yeah, literally. <laughs> I've never seen someone shout so quietly in my life. That was impressive. I respect it, Jamie. Is on a pirate website. Why do people use those sites? They freeze all the. That's funny. I'm not watching on a pirated website. I'm watching on a streaming service officially licensed. <gasps> oh. What is wrong with you? Yeah, that was a little unnecessary. Whoa! Whoa! Isn't sensical a word? Wait, is it sensical not a word? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm gonna look really stupid right now. No, sensical is a word. Okay. I think. Yeah, since cool. I was gonna say like nonsense school means it doesn't make sense, so since school would mean it does make sense. So it is a word. What? Oh, hold on. Did you get to the part where you're going to reveal everything to Principal Brown? No, but I think we might as well. So why did the librarian do it? <laughs> Okay, hold on. Was Daisy just mewing? What was that? What was that mog face? Yo. Kind of locked in, man. Chiseled. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, no, actually, the reason she probably set the virus on the computers is because the librarian hates that everyone uses computers and wants everyone to use books. Like a few episodes ago when Gumball was in here. Uh, looking for a book, uh, and she's like, "Whoa, you actually need a book!" So that's probably why. Yep. <laughs> Impressive. Dante's Inferno. Are you gonna release the nine levels of hell on her? This is kind of crazy. Gone with the wind. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the right wind. <laughs> There's the whale. I love all these references, by the way. I, I wonder what they had to pay to get all these... Well, I guess probably not. Like, Moby Dick is, like, public domain. So is Dante's Inferno and all that stuff. Three Musketeers, I think, is public domain. I I don't know, actually. So, actually, never mind. It, it, these are all classics, so I guess it, it makes sense. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I love all the references, though. So. Yo. Yep.
Yeah, she doesn't like computers. She wants everyone to use the books because they lost their. Can can I she read it? Yeah. Okay, that's not a. Okay, that's not a word. Oh, that was so clever to get her to write. It. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. I thought they were just making a joke about her yelling. That's clever. A librarian salary? It will still take, what, 40,000 years? <laughs> uh, uh. I guess this makes us buddies, right? No. Wow. Well. makes us friends. Aw. Hey, NA is finally as a friend. Good job. Maybe one you won't be obsessive over this time? That's a romance. Oh, sorry. Display it for Cool. Anais finally has a friend. Hopefully she won't be obsessive over this one like her last couple friends. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully Jamie won't, you know, kill her. This is really funny. I, I like this. So it was the librarian the whole time. And she did it because, you know, because, like, we found out, like, a couple episodes ago. Like, she hates that people are always using the computers and, you know, the, the books. and makes her job redundant. She's not really a librarian. She just oversees a computer lab, pretty much. And so she destroyed the computers to ensure that people would start using books again but i don't know this is this is really good i i like trying to piece it together in the first half and then finding out the librarian and stuff and honestly jamie put that together really well the handwriting that match inside the book i didn't even think about that like jamie has she's like patrick from spongebob like she has her moments of just intelligence that just blossoms you know what i mean and i really like it i think it's funny good for a comedic timing i suppose or just for plot reasons but this whole fight was so cool just using all these classics like robin hood moby dick dante's inferno all that stuff did like three musketeers the, all their powers essentially uh i think the gone with the wind was a good uh, that was a good joke that was really funny actually but yeah i don't know this was very entertaining it was a very creative episode i thought it was very creative especially in you know the fight scene we had with all the books um but yeah i mean it's kind of true i mean a lot of especially in schools at least like when i was in middle school and high school and stuff like nobody really went to the library to get books it was so rare you ever see that anytime you go into the library everybody's on the computers that's just how it is you know and you know, sometimes you'll check out books I, like i never really used the library i'm not a huge book reader so i never really used the library like when i was in school um, to check out books. Like if I needed a book for a class or something, I would usually have the book supplied to me from the said class or it would be an online book. But uh, it is very true that most libraries are used <laughs> just for their computers, which I mean, honestly fair, because not everybody has a computer um, and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Kind of relatable episode somewhat. <laughs> um just very funny and also i just love the team up with anais and jamie because they're completely it's literally brains and brawn that is literally what they are and they kind of mash it together now that they're now that they're friends anyways but um yeah i don't know it was a fun team up it was very interesting i i really like this episode it's very entertaining but uh yeah anyways i will see you guys in the next one